Chun, take one. Mark. My name is Chen Wei Chen. I'm from Guangdong, China, and this is my second year with New York City Ballet. It's a very different path uh, than most of the dancers, how they got into the company. I was dancing in Houston for almost 10 years. And by the end of my career in Houston, I collaborated with uh, Justin Peck. We work very well together. And we had a conversation about like, if I'm interested to join New York City Ballet, then, you know, he's the person to talk to. And then when I really danced Justin's piece in opening night, I felt sen a, a sense of freedom in his movement. And from that point, I'm like, okay, Justin, do you remember the, our conversation that you wanted to show me around the company? And then I come here to audition for one week because I required to take a week of class because I wanted to really get to know the style of Balanchine since I'm not grew up from the school here in SAB. And also I want the company to know who I am as a dancer as well. Two months later, John called me like, you got a position of soloist. And without a doubt, I was like, okay, I'm taking it. My first ballet here with the company is Puccinella by Justin Peck. I've always imagined like what is the first show going to be like. And I was very calm and was very grounded. And also uh, colleagues here, they are cheerful and like cheering you up on the side stage. So I enjoyed it so much that I still remember I wasn't as nervous as I thought I would be. If I can ask George Balanchine one question, it would be technique or artistry, which one is more important? I danced Serenade when I was in Houston, and all the steps are so pure, simple, but yet it's so powerful as a dancer, as an audience to watch it. It's a piece of art that I really draw into Balanchine at that point of my career, and I just wanted to explore more. How can he choreograph something that is so simple, but yet just like so powerful? I love to listen books. Now, the book that I'm listening is just pronunciation, correcting, you know, I'm trying to pronounce in a way that have less accent. It's a little bit troublesome for me at the moment, but I think this is the best time for me to relearn English. I started, I think when I was in China, the third grade, but it, mostly it was just vocabulary, apple rulers, and then when I went to Houston, it was very hard for me to put all the words into sentence. And when people ask me a question, I have to translate it to Chinese first and then translate from Chinese to English. And by the time I think that person is not interested on my answer anymore. So it took me like two to three years to um, have a conversation. Something I picked up during pandemic, it was guitar. And I started guitar when I was like around 10 years old. And since I was practicing dance, I paused playing guitar for a long time. And now re-picking up, it feels so satisfied to play it again. And also I love to sing too in karaoke. What have you done in karaoke since you've moved here? Last night I was in karaoke celebrating Lunar New Year.